So I'm very happy with that. I'm so happy with it that I'm going to give you 1025s butterfly on a minute. On a minute. I used to do, these Olympic kids, Sean Seaman, used to do 40 at the end of training, 40 50s jump out on 45. You're going 25 minutes. I'm going soft. I'm going soft. We're doing 25s, butterfly, on the minute, 10. Then it's swim down and you're finished. So let's get, let's get some hammer into this. Keep your feet underwater in your butterfly and kick up on your second kick. Vern, hips out, kick hard. Let's get off the wall butterfly properly. Here we go. Ready? Hip. Kick. 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 Excellent. Excellent. Very good. You got 45 seconds rest. I'm going soft. I am going soft. I have gone soft as a coach. Vern, I loved the first 10 metres. You were ahead of, you were ahead of your brother for the first 10 metres. Then he started to kick harder than you and your bum started to go down. You've got to get your bum out of the water. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. We're only doing 10 of these on the minute. Ready? Hop! Now, you can do them on whatever cycle you like. 10 seconds, plenty of rest. But it's just a matter of building technique and building strength. Nice judge to the wall. Good job. Both of you, good touch on the wall. Very good. Are you happy with your push-offs underwater? You are? Herbie, are you happy with your push-offs underwater? Yeah. Yeah, no, they're good. They're good. But remember, it's fast wriggles. The best swimmers of the world are winning the push-offs and winning it easy. Try to kick both ways, up and down. 10 seconds rest left and eight laps left. I should have gave them, I shouldn't have given you this much rest. But let's go hard anyway. Two, one, hop! Kick! Hop! Up! Hop! Hop! Vern? Oh. I was going to come in and say what a great finish it was. No breathing to the wall, and you took a, a breath right there. No, that's what I saw. That's what I saw. I was just coming around to say, Vern, I love that. I love the way you finished. Instead, I'm saying, Vern, you nook a stroke just there. You nook a breath. When you come in, try to make it on a full stroke. That's how Kavik got beaten at the Olympics in Beijing because Phelps finished on a full stroke and Kavik lifted his head. Ready? Hop! Kick! Kick! So what I'm trying to do is improve their butterfly and if I've got a little squad training seriously then I would at the end of every training session I'd make sure that I gave them, I'd start off doing 25s butterfly this way and then I'd build them up to do the butterflies. Is that six? Four. Four? Okay. Then I'd start up, instead of going every minute, I'd go every 30 seconds. As a matter of fact, these boys will do the next two on 30 seconds. Yes! The next two on 30. We go on this 30. Say so thank you, Laurie. Good, thank you, that's good to hear. These two are on 30, then I'll put you back on the minute. But be tough both ways. Ready? Hup. 
Yep. Just throw in a little unexpected challenge occasionally and uh, see how they respond. Because we're trying not only to teach them good techniques, we're trying to teach them to be tough. Good kid, good finish. We're trying to teach them to be tough, tough kids. Excellent work. You're puffing, both of you. That's good. You've got 10 seconds. Let's do a John Seaburn last lap of the 200 fly here. Ready? Hop! You can recall past champions. You can recall Phelps, who in the 200 butterfly in Beijing, when he broke the 200 metres world record, his goggles filled up. Excellent. Good finish. His goggles filled up with water. He broke the world record with his goggles full of water. So you can relate these stories. That's good. You've got an extra 30 seconds rest. On this 60 we go. I'm very happy with these. Is that six? Four to go. Four to go. Going on the 60, the top. Are you training hard? Yes, good. Herbie? You are? Good. On the top. I love to see kids train hard. You know, as coaches, trying to develop young kids, we are so fortunate. It's such a great sport that we're in. It teaches discipline, teaches toughness, teaches goal setting, it teaches all these things. And invariably, kids that can discipline themselves at the pool can discipline themselves for study or whatever. I'm really happy with you boys. Thanks for coming down and doing this this afternoon. It's just so good. All right, three left. On this 60 coming up. But are you doing them fast, Vern? As far as you can, good. Herbie? Yeah. All right, let's go. Ready? Hip! Hop! Kick! 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 Burn! You did it without breathing the finish. Good boy. Well done. Now you did that so good that the last two were going to go on 30 seconds instead of 60. I know you like that. I know you loved it last time we did it. I know you love. Look at you. You got a smile on your face. You should have said thank you, Laurie. Can we do it on 20 seconds instead of 30? Get ready on the top. 30 seconds and then back you come flat out. And finish the way you did then, because it was perfect. Perfect. When you're tired, you finish perfect. Ready? Hip. Hop. Hop. Full stroke is good. Full stroke is good. 30 seconds, you've got 10 left. Now I want you to break 15 seconds for this. 15 seconds, you've got to break 15 seconds. Ready? Ho! Oh, let's go. We're after a 15 second sight. Kick! 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 Five. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes, under 15. 17 and a half, good job, good job. Lisa, get a photo of these boys. Now you can have your drinks. Just get a close up of Herb's face. Cause you never know, there might be some girls looking. Turn around, look over here Herbie. That's it, nice and... <laughs> look at him, look at him. He's so happy. Look at Vernie, Vernie, Ver Vernie. He's so happy the way he's trained. Oh, that is so good, boys.